hello friends welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how you can uh, install karate in your framework and how you can uh, do the basic setup for uh, doing your automation testing so here i have uh, created uh, the basic structure of the project the simple maven project i have created using new maven project then next next and uh, group id this is the group id which i have given which i have used and j unit 4 is the artifact id which i have uh, given for this project so if you want you can use the same now next thing is like to install the karate uh, framework we need to uh, uh, we need to add the dependencies uh, into our pom.xml file so now let's quickly uh, get the uh, maven dependency for this karate project so this is the github repo for the karate project and, uh, this has all the documentation so even if you are starting for the first time you can just go through all the examples given on over here uh, they have given examples for different features and you can uh, use that for automating now uh, for if you want to uh, see the link for this here are the links for the different features which uh, are there in this karate now since we want to use with the maven so let's click on the maven this is the dependency for the maven here the dependency is given for the j unit 5 but we are uh, doing setup with j unit 4 so what we will do we will use a j unit 4 dependency so let's uh, uh, copy this dependency and we are deleting this default and let's uh, add it and here uh, j unit 4 i have changed because we are going to use this uh, j unit 4 now this is uh, we have got the dependency for this now let's uh, quickly create a feature file which uh, we will be using for testing So this is the uh, feature file which will have our test scripts so let's write down test then scenario and get user details then even you are when method get then status wanted so this is this is a very basic uh, script uh, for api automation and uh, these are uh, the different keywords the karate keywords which i have already explained in my previous video so we are using these keywords for uh, automating the simple uh, get api scenario so here we need to pass some uh, url for api to which we want to hit the get request and then we need to we will be validating if the status is 200 or not so uh, here i have this uh, test api which i'm using so let's just pass this url okay that's it so we are done uh, with the test scripts writing now let's create a runner file test runner now let's again uh, go back to the github repo for uh, for this so if since we want to uh, run uh, our project using JUnit 4, so let's see. Uh, they have given the code over here, which we can use for writing our, uh, for uh, executing this uh, with JUnit 4. So we have uh, created this class. So now what we need, we just need this thing. okay so that is it so we don't need to do anything else uh, this uh, this karate it will uh, it since we have our feature file and the test render file in the same package so uh, what it will do it will uh, execute the given uh, uh, implemented this uh, feature file now let us just run it run is j unit test
So here you can see pass our test got executed and here the JUnit report has also got generated. Okay, now uh, let's see if it is validating correctly or not. If we give just some other status and we'll uh, run it again. So we can see that the, this time the test has passed because the expected result was 200 for this actual result is 200 for this and it also uh, generate the reports into this target folder so we can just quickly see once uh, in the target folder what report it has generated so it has generated a uh, j unit html report So we can see uh, just since we are executed for the pair one, it, this is showing the status and it has showing the steps. Now the next thing is uh, I want to show quickly is like how we can uh, generate the Kukumbal report using uh, this JUnit 4. Now to generate the uh, Kukumba report, we need to uh, execute uh, the scenarios uh, in parallel. So what is that? Uh, uh, we can see how we can uh, execute the uh, do the parallel execution using JUnit 4. So for this also they have given a very nice uh, uh, example and the code they have given. So we can just use the same code to run our test uh, for parallel. So parallel execution, I mean, uh, you, uh, I mean, uh, you don't need to use the JUnit runner. I mean, over here, in our uh, code we were using run with karate class. But uh, when you are uh, want to do the uh, uh, parallel execution that you don't need to use a JUnit runner with uh, run with annotation you can just write uh, directly use the at the rate test uh, uh, JUnit uh, method okay so let's just uh, copy this method and uh, put it over here and you can delete this one and let's uh, just import all the methods classes okay and here uh, we need to uh, give the path for our uh, this uh, feature so this is the path for our feature where our feature file is so we will just copy it and just uh, change this to slash and since we are not using any tags in our feature file we will uh, delete it and change this font also to two so uh, this is the one thing uh, which we need to do so first let's see if our uh, test is uh, getting executed in parallel or not so let's see run as So here uh, you can see threads is two. So uh, it means it has got executed in parallel since we had given the thread count as two. So this has got executed. Now next thing is like uh, we what we want to do we want to generate the HTML report. So for generating the HTML uh, report, uh, what we need to do is uh, uh, we need to uh, we need to import the Cucumber uh, this dependency. So they have given in this uh, URL uh, the dependency which we need to add for generating the Cucumber report. So let's quickly add it into our form file. We have uh, added uh, this dependency. Next, we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, write some method over here which will uh, generate uh, this report. So this is for parallel execution, but for generating the report, we need to have a, uh, need to do some changes in the code. So for that also, they have given uh, an example which we can use. And this is the reference. You can uh, check it uh, and copy it from here. So this is the method which is uh, used for generating the report. So we will just copy it. 
and we will import on this classes java and here for this notice and cucumber list this is for report so cucumber uh, jar we need to import and we have done with all the imports next is uh, we need to uh, call this method into this parallel method right so let's do that so we are done with the basic uh, setup for our report generation also for the cucumber report generation now let's uh, see quickly running this if we are getting the cucumber reports so a test has got executed it is pass we don't see any failure so uh, the report got generated so let's see go to the target folder refresh it and see we have got this cucumber reports let's see so you can, you can see that uh, the reports has got generated so this is how you can uh, generate uh, your cucumber report in JUnit 4. So that is it for this video guys. In the next video I will be showing how you can do the same setup using JUnit file library. So see you in the next video. Thank you.